Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Note, the webcam board can be removed without first attaching the display panel assembly from the base enclosure. Removal. Remove the four rubber feet from the channels in the base enclosure. Remove the 12 5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Lift the front edge of the base enclosure and guide the cutouts on the base enclosure out of the external connectors. Disconnect the battery cable from its connector on the system board. Tow the cutouts on the base enclosure over the external connectors and lower the base enclosure onto the top cover. Apply pressure to the edges of the base enclosure until it snaps into place. Turn the notebook over and open the display. Place a protective barrier onto the top cover to protect the touchscreen from damage later on in this procedure. Using a case separator tool, carefully release the edges of the touchscreen from the display enclosure. Lift the touchscreen assembly off of the display enclosure and place it face down on the top cover. Caution! Take care not to scratch the touchscreen or top cover. Disconnect the webcam cable from its connector on the webcam board. Using a flat, non-conductive tool, carefully remove the webcam board from the adhesive and alignment pins that secure it to the display enclosure. Place the webcam board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the webcam board from the static dissipative bag. Connect the webcam cable into its connector on the webcam board. Place the webcam board onto its alignment pins on the display enclosure. Gently press down on the webcam board to adhere it to the display enclosure. Lift the touchscreen and route the display panel cable through the remaining section of the routing channel on the touchscreen. Important! Ensure that the display panel cable is properly routed through the routing channel. An improperly routed cable can cause damage when the touchscreen is replaced. Place the touchscreen into position on the display enclosure. Gently apply pressure around the outside edges of the touchscreen until it snaps onto the display enclosure. Caution! Take extreme care when applying pressure to the edges of the touchscreen. The glass is thin and easily damaged. Remove the protective barrier from the top cover. Close the display panel and turn the notebook over. Carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Lift the front edge of the base enclosure and guide the cutouts on the base enclosure out of the external connectors. Connect the battery cable into its connector on the system board. Tow the cutouts on the base enclosure over the external connectors and lower the base enclosure onto the top cover. Apply pressure to the edges of the base enclosure until it snaps into place. Replace the 12 5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover.
place the four rubber feet into the channels in the base enclosure. 